14 October 2014 Tuesday probably the last video I'm going to do of the yard for this year the weather's changing it's getting colder I'll be digging up the plants before long this is in Newcastle Lawrence County PA this is my home and my garden last look at our garden plants are going to be needing dug up before long weather's changing it's getting ready to rain so this might be a short video these are railroad ties for the fence we're putting up uh, this section of fence we just replaced it's been gone for years but we just replaced it the other sections that's around the house like this section over here that fence has been there since I was seven years old and I'm 54 so it's been there quite a while so I figure by the time I get these fences done the yard will be uh, all closed in and I won't ever have to fix the fences again in my lifetime now up on the hill as you can see up here on the camera I'm zooming in on the fence has fallen down see it laying down I use landscape timbers for fence posts big mistake do not use landscape timbers for fence posts they're junk they didn't even last one year but this is just a quick run through the yard it's starting to rain pretty good so I'm gonna try to hurry just trimmed my tree up I got a bunch of junk under there I got to get rid of yet to clean that up later I'm gonna go where the dirt mark is and up to the thing up there by the burn pit you can see the corner of the wall I'm gonna to connect to that and plateau this like I did up there and then I'm gonna put a gazebo where the tree trunk is I'm gonna tear this tree out of here so that'll get cleaned up eventually this is the hillside where I'm working you can see up here where the fence ends and you can see some plywood laying on the ground up there see it laying there that's where I got holes dug ready for posts I just need to get some muscle in here to carry the posts up I try to recycle everything in my yard everything is from free or given to me donated like a lot of the plants and then I propagate them this wall along here is made from city sidewalks busted up city sidewalks you ask the city when they're tearing them out 90% of the time they'll let you have them for nothing and they make beautiful walls so that's what this wall is from this wall up here I have a problem it, this big hill every time it would rain the yard would flood and the house would flood and for three months you couldn't even mow the yard in this section because it would just be so wet but with building these walls and plateauing the hillside that slows the water down to where the yard dries up in hours instead of months so if you're having flood problems this is an idea that'll help now another hint these are all dry stacked there is no cement on these it's a little bit of a pain at times because it, it'll lean after so long and you have to rebuild them but that's a little price to pay for not having to uh, pay extra taxes for something that's cemented so this is all done to where everything is completely movable changeable you can see these walls going up the sides of the steps you can see the gap down here it's starting to sink so I need to take these side pieces out and re repack them and restack them and you can see up here where a section of wall this summer has tilted and it's going to be neat and rebuilt see right in here the bricks are all falling off and it's leaning so that'll need rebuilt come next spring that's my junk pile there's the fence that fell over up here along the fence line like I said I had landscape timbers I used for fence posts and they are junk there's one of my holes ready for a post another one and then there's more down through there I just need to get the railroad ties up there and these railroad ties are from a train trestle so they're not your normal railroad ties they're eight inches wide one way and a foot thick so they weigh about four to six hundred pounds each 
so they ain't something easy to carry around so we usually take the pipes I take three of these pipes strap them across the top with uh, straps and you get uh, six people three on each side and you pick them up and just walk with them and it works very well but this is my yard I used to have steps see these steps right here I used to have another set just like that down here on the end on the left and uh, this, this section up here is pretty skinny and with my big tractor it's a little hard to turn around up here so I ended up taking the steps out and put in a dirt ramp there here in a moment I'll show you it this here is one of my uh, mulch piles you can see the section of wall here is getting ready to fall over too I'm thinking of changing this you see this wall right there I think I'm gonna come right here and cut this in and go up there a ways and across and back down and make two uh, big mulch piles right here where you can pull right in with the tractor and dump your loads it'll be a lot easier to deal with it than to kind of throw everything up and over the walls so that'll be changing up there in this corner those are rows of Sharon's that I'm shaping in the balls I think the first two or three of them's white and then I got a pink one then another white one I need to take out three of those there's too many up there but that section there still needs some work done up there and some cleaning up I'm just starting to do some cleanup for the winter uh, if I clean up most of these hostas I cut them off for the winter then come spring I don't have to rake up quite as much it takes about two days to clean up the yard in the spring and then I'm good all summer everything in this yard comes on its own the alley runs higher than the yard at this end so there was a little knoll right here that was a pain in the butt to mow so what I did is I built this little retaining wall and that's where I plant my garden that's a seven foot chain link fence on the back wall here and last year I had tomatoes taller than the fence this year everything did good I put in a bunch of bell peppers but with them spraying all that crap they're spraying above me uh, everything was goofed up this year my uh, bell peppers I didn't get a single bell pepper on two flats worth of bell peppers they budded and they looked great but I didn't get a single pepper the tomatoes were skimpy this year all the vegetables did really crappy this year the uh, green beans they did half decent and then uh, those was down at the far end there past the greenery you can see in the picture and then up here at this end I had peas and when my fence up along the woods fell down the deer come down in and ate up all my pea plants now this here plant is uh oh shoot I forgot the name of it this is a poisonous plant uh, this is the castor castor bean plant and it's getting ready to uh, seed the seeds are up in here if I can see them up in there there's the seed pods right up in there so I'm getting ready to get seeds off of this thing for next year uh, these are very poisonous if you eat five to seven seeds it'll kill you and if you're a chemist you can get what's called ricin from the plant which is not what I'm doing this for I'm growing these because I just like the look of the plants they're very beautiful looking and the red color is amazing if I can get any closer to see the red coloring the leaves are pretty the coloring's nice you can see the seed pods up here on the camera I'm zooming in on those are the seed pods they're still red they need to dry up before I can harvest the seeds seeds are uh, about the size of a pea and they're like a blackish brown color I had a bottle of about 20 seeds and I got one plant to grow out of it but the bottle of seeds is probably 10 years old now this is looking back at my city sidewalk wall made from city sidewalks it was free the only thing I had to do was pay for all the gas of bringing it all here this is my swimming pool I just cut the clumps of grass out you can see here where I'm zooming in the clump of grass is gone I have clumps of grass all around the pool but if I cut them out then in the spring I don't have to do that much I try to get as much done as I can while I'm in shape because after sitting around all winter with a broken back you you ain't really ready for the spring cleanup 
so I try to get as much done as I can. This is my backyard. This is the uh, back fence of some cannas I got to dig up. There's what's left of my green beans up there on the top of the fence. My wife's five foot tall, so she couldn't reach the rest. Then my tin shed and my red shed. Walmart tore out their garden center and they gave me their metal beams. They was throwing them in a dumpster. I asked them what they was doing. The guy said they had to pay to haul it away. I said, well, can I have some of them? And he says, well, you can't get in the dumpster, but I still got a bunch left to cut down. He goes, uh, where are you taking them to? And I told him just right here across town. He, he even delivered them to me for nothing. So I built this uh, support system. Eventually, I'm going to put a roof on here up to the... Uh, the peak up there and put a little lean-to roof and that'll cover my patio so the beams was free for now I got a tarp that I paid somewhere around 50 bucks for I throw the tarp up there and it acts like a sunset or awning the brick patio these bricks here came from the Catholic Church they tore down up on Sheep Hill they tore it down up on Sheep Hill and when they tore it down I went in and gathered up some of the bricks these bricks on this side came from a house that they tore down across from Nick's Auto Body on Mill Street in Newcastle, PA. So that gave me them bricks. And then a family member gave me these bricks from his father's house. I didn't have enough to do the whole patio, so what I did is I put the wavy ones in the center and the uh, fire bricks kind of out around to make it look purpose purposely done that way so it got it a little bigger. The rectangle would have been nice size but then you ain't got room to pull your benches and nothing out. Later I get more bricks of better quality I might rip this out and redo it. These sections of fencing here is just temporary. I use that to where when I put my tarp over the beam I can hook my bungees down onto the chain link fence. Eventually when this patio is all done and I get an actual wood roof on here these beams will be painted white and in this place of this fence, that fence over there, and this fence over here, I will be putting in the uh, white vinyl picket fence. So that'll make it look nice back here. This is my ginkgo tree flower bed right here. That is a ginkgo tree. The tree has been here since I was a little kid. And that is a uh, clematis climbing at a red clematis, like a red purple clematis. That is an elegant sidebolt hosta. It's just about done. That's why I said this is probably the last video. Everything's starting to die off for the winter. And that cage was put there to hold my gladiolas up. It worked, but it wasn't as nice looking as I expected it to look. So I might do something different there. I might even dig them gladiolas out of there. But this is my yard and what it looks like. 14 October 2014. Tuesday. The jungle gym we just redid this year. Hard to believe this thing's about five to seven years old. Every so many years we'll redo it and it looks better than brand new. You can see some of my photos from years ago and it looks better now than it did then. I pressure washed it and then I come back and sanded every board on there by hand and used Thompson water seal on it. Everyone asked me on the website why I took so many pictures of this thing from different angles. I try to do that so anyone that uh, is constructive and would like to build one of these for their kids they have an idea of how it's put together. So that's why I took so many uh, pictures people. Don't think I was showing off, I was just showing people how it's actually put together. That was the purpose of all the pictures of this. This way they could see all the different angles and how it's bolted, where it's bolted, what boards was used. This way if they want to build it, the only thing is they, I don't think they'll get a hold of plastic roofing like that to come with it. They'll have to use a rubber roofing or a corrugated roofing. And then down below, that was supposed to be a split floor to where half of it was decking and the other half was a sandbox. But if you ask me, a sandbox around here anymore is a cat litter box. So I did away with the sandbox. I didn't want the kids playing in cat shit. 
I still got a flag up there I got to take down. This year we got a new roof put on in May. Got a new roof put on the whole house. I got central air put in, a new furnace. I put new windows on these rooms up here, on this window and the front window. I've repainted all the siding on the front porch and the front sunroom. I got a new furnace, new central air, new roof, new windows, and a new square D breaker box in the cellar. So the yard's coming along nice. I changed this area. That used to be dirt in this area, but I got tired of walking through mud. So I dug it up and put in the bricks. With doing the edging in bricks like this, you can run the mower right across the bricks. And you ain't got to come back and do all that weed whacking like you would with landscape timbers. There used to be landscape timbers around here, but I got tired of replacing one and two landscape timbers every year. So I switched it all over to brick. It's a lot easier to maintain. And you don't have to come back and weed whack. Over here was a big maple stump, and I'm working on burning it out. We just had a big fire in here three days ago. You can still feel some heat from it. But a great big maple tree stump in there. And that's what we're working on burning out here. Burned up some furniture, had some springs in it. These are fire brick that was given to me. I just stacked them up just to make a circle to burn in. It's been bumped a few times throwing logs in so it's all out of whack. Then this is our fence we built this year. Well, replaced. And then, like I said, up in here, I'm going to be changing this once I cut that maple or pine tree out. I plan on putting in a nice white gazebo up in there. I'm going to plateau it like I did up there with the cinder blocks. And then put the gazebo up there right about where the tree trunk is will be about the center. Maybe a little off to the uh, right will be more where the center is. Got a bunch of stuff up in there to clean up yet. But everything's slow. I ain't got a truck, so I got to do a little bit at a time. But I thought I'd show everyone the view of my yard in the fall. Just before winter, this is what it looks like. I gotta do a clean up. And then everything will be done. Hope everyone enjoyed it. And have a nice day.